Hi, and welcome to the third fireside chat from GateNet. I'm Mark Marianne your CEO, and it's really, really a great pleasure to um, introduce Algometric, who are a really key partner in delivering the digital effort of my. I'm really, really happy today that we've got Jasmina for our fireside chat to talk about a little bit more about Algometric, what they're doing, and how they're helping us build the GateNet digital FMI. Thank you for having me, Mark. I'm Yasmina, I'm a PMO from Algometric. We are a software development company that is specialized in delivering innovative, tailor-made and scalable solutions to our clients, primarily in FinTech, gaming, education, telecommunication and logistics. We have been working together with GateNet on building digital FMI since February this year. And I'm here today to inform you a little bit more on what we're currently working on and uh, how we're building this product. Yeah, and it's uh, and it's been it's been tough work, hard work, um, but it's been fun at the same time working with Algometric. Um, it'll be good, you know, to to know. Obviously, I know, but um, to the wider community out there, uh, what exactly are we currently working on as we lead up to the GateNet V1 Go Live? Hmm. We are currently working on several different fronts, Mark. We are finishing the user onboarding part of the application, creating the accounts for both individual and institutional users. We are also implementing two-step verification process and integration with a real-time KYC AML provider. We are currently working on funding management part, uh, creating and managing wallets, handling responses for deposits, withdrawals, balances, and communication with third-party digital assets custody, which is Fireblocks. Uh, we're also working on trading page where the user will be able to see the list of available instruments for trading, the order book, uh, trade history data, price charts, etc. And also here the user can enter, uh, can place the new order and uh, start trading. So I have to say behind this page, there is a huge teamwork on uh, building our trading engine part. And we are also at the moment building the administration application where the admins would be able to manage the key settings and configuration of the platform and to monitor the correct operation of the entire platform. Yeah, that's great. And, and I know looking at the, the project and program plan that actually we're delivering here in, in agile uh, fashion, um, Jasmina, and obviously I'll work with you and a team on a daily basis. So uh, we're on those sprinkles, uh, we're going through remediation, fixing bugs, all that kind of good stuff. And we've got a number of modules going on at the same time, which include the primary issuance platform, the secondary trading engine that takes a feed from, from STT, um, the blockchain interface, you know, there's, there's a variety of modules that we're working on at the same time that you touched on. And what's really exciting is, is the, the, the core products for the GateNet Digital FMI, which is the digital issuance platform where issuers can come on and uh, issue equities in, in companies, or it could be a real estate, ETF funds, whatever. That whole module actually is going to be, well, you can correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong here, but actually be finished in, in probably back end of December. Um, and we're on schedule to, to get everything um, live for, for March. So, so it's really exciting that we've got the primary issuance platform for issuers, that they can issue equity and then trade those tokens on the secondary trading engine. So we're, we're really delivering a real key piece of architecture here. Um, but it sounds like you guys have got everything under control. And the good thing is I'm always on those sprints as well with you guys. Well, thank you, Mark. Yes, we are trying to keep everything tight and everything in line with the projected timeline and budget. So we, at the moment, as you can see, we are on several different fronts, handling different parts of the application. And I have to say so far, everything is going as projected. Great. So what do you think and feel are the key benefits of GayNet working with Algometric? Firstly, Mark, I'd have to say is the team that we have put together working on digital FMI. Those are people with the expertise and decades of experience in building, managing, and uh, delivering amazing solutions, primarily in the fintech industry. We have some of the industry's best working on this project, and those are the type of people that are not afraid to push the boundaries on a day-to-day -day basis. Secondly, I believe it's the methodology and the overall approach that Algometric takes when conducting business. 
we are involved hands-on from the earliest stages of the project, from the initial research and design through development, testing, and finally uh, support and maintenance. On Gatenet Digital FMI, for instance, we have been involved since February this year through uh, the project initiation phase, where together with Gatenet, we have defined business requirements, including functional and security requirements and budgets through all the various phases of the project, from development, testing, and releases into production. And um, last but not least, I, I have to say that Algometric puts high importance and focus on nurturing great relationships with our clients, having open channels of communication and providing full transparency. Jasmina, so on to um, probably a challenging question, um, but how have the Algometric team been finding um, the GateNet Digital FMI? You know, uh, let's be honest here, it's, it's a five year real kind of delivery plan here and it's not the easiest of projects to implement what we're doing here is transforming the market and it's extremely complex um and and version one is the the first step on on this on this journey so um yeah over to you well uh, if i'd have to use one word to describe how we're finding the project i would probably say motivating like you said, the project is very technically challenging. We are building a multi-chain platform using blockchain technology. So it is something quite new, something quite innovative. And on top of that, this being a financial product, it is extremely important that we provide the highest possible level of security and strictly follow all the rules and regulations imposed. Uh, so I would have to say that the team is very enthusiastic to be a part of it all. We find it motivating that on a daily basis, we are <clears throat> challenging ourselves by doing something that hasn't been done before and ultimately delivering the best product on the market. No, that's great. I know. And one of the key topics that just came up this week was regulatory reporting. You know, we're building a global platform and there's many regs across the world that we have to um, to to deliver for so yeah a lot of items that come up every week and um, algometric really battling and then down so really appreciate the work there jasmina so that that's great i mean th there's another thing also um, working with algometric that i found um, there's a great diversity in the team right we've got um, an equal spread of of, of women and uh, men actually the project management management team is predominantly women, which is great. Um, it's the first time I've worked with um, a Serbian team um, and, and it's been great, you know, great to learn the culture, great to learn the people, very hardworking uh, company ethic at Algometric. Um, so I think it adds, adds a great deal because for, for GateNet, we've got uh, folk in Gibraltar, uh, folk in the UK, in the EU, in Italy, in the US, India, and over APAC. So it's great to bring you guys into the family of, of GateNet. We are happy to be a part of the GateNet family, Mark, uh, but we are in 21st century. So we're all just one click away from each other. And uh, we believe in working with people that uh, share the same vision as we do, not necessarily the same area code. Definitely. And I, I personally look forward to being in the area codes this or early next year before the launch of GateNet V1. Uh, to work with you guys in the lead up to to go live um so it'll be really good actually um to the audience because you know a lot out there are into project program management you know my background actually is in in program management delivering large-scale uh, projects for credit Suisse such as, as brexit and i know um how much work and effort needs to go in on a daily basis but maybe we can touch on that um given our backgrounds as well on how we actually deliver a project such as GateNet Digital, Digital FMI. You know, there's governance, there's steering committees, uh, there's weekly meetings, there's sprints. Um, how does this organization, organization all come together for GateNet at the moment? That's a great question, Mark. Of course, obviously, besides the obvious, when it comes to building a product, which is a lot of coding, a lot of testing, we as a team also have over 20 weekly meetings. Oh, wow. Uh, within the team yes together also with gatenet and third party providers so from team syncs discussions brainstormings to sprint plannings groomings application demos 
And also in parallel, we are constantly performing monitoring and control to ensure that our delivery is aligned with our projected timeline and budget. Thanks to Jasmina and the whole Algometric team for taking time out for this fireside chat. It's been great working with you guys up till now and really look forward to driving out the latter phases of, of GateNet over the coming years. If anyone else wants to find out about the GateNet Digital FMI or Gate Token, yes, it's an ERC20 token available on Uniswap at the moment, please check out LinkedIn, our website, our white paper, which is on the website, Twitter and YouTube. Latest information will be updated on there and you can, you can get up to date on GateNet's progress. We also have a Telegram community and uh, the links are provided below.